Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to mess with your friends via terminal. Back when I was in high school, and probably even now, my friends, my brother, my family, they always play practical jokes on me. And the most infamous of these practical jokes was changing my desktop background when I wasn't around. And so, you know, I'd go get a piece of paper, you know, print something, get a pen, and I'd come back and my desktop background would be like scary zombies, clowns, you know, babies, you know, dying or something, like something crazy out there, wild, snakes, spiders, I've seen it all. And I get startled very easily, so I'm like freaking out, freaking out, and I'm the type of person where if you tell me like, oh, I'm gonna be in this closet, I'm gonna jump out and scare you in five minutes, and then I'll be like, okay, and then you do it five minutes later, I will freak out like you never even told me. It's very, very bad. So this video is for people that get pranked a lot and get freaked out by it, like me, and this is your revenge on them. This is what you can do to get back at them. You can use your terminal to get back at them. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. So what do we do first? We open our terminal, set this all up. And the first thing we're going to type is rev. And so what will this do? How will this prank, you know, the other person that you want to prank? Well, everything I type in here now is going to be the opposite of what I type in. What does that mean? Well, let's say I type in hello. I'm going to get back. Ole. If I type in yes, I'm going to get se. If I type in people, I'm going to get hello peep. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what's going to happen. And you know, they're not going to know how to get out of this. And so we'll say, I don't know, no on um, DNA and, and DNA race car. And that's one of those things where you flip it around. It's the same swims, not the same thing. That's calculator. For people that get that, please, you know, like and stuff. And now, how do you get out of this? Well, you're going to do control C. Now you're out of it, but your friend doesn't know that. And so they can just, you know, keep going until the end of time or they can close the window. But shh, they don't know about that. They don't know closing the window exists. And so another thing you can do is a command called yes. And so if I just type in yes and hit enter, I get a never ending stream of whys. How am I supposed to work when I got these yeses, whys all the way down here? Well, I can get out of it by again doing control C. There you go. But your pranky doesn't know that, so ha ha on them. And you can even make it so it doesn't just do whys, it does something that you want it to do. So you could say yes, and then do ha ha, and then close the quote. And so those have to be in quotes, or else it's just going to get like the first character H. And so we will press enter. And my computer freaked out, per usual, so we're just going to do yes, ha ha and it will actually work this time. Ha ha ha, this is so hilarious. You, you know, just played a prank on your friend and you can actually do enough ha ha's to go all the way across the screen and there you go. So to get out of this, again, we do control C. There we go. And the last command I'm gonna show you is the best. I saved the best for last. This command can make your terminal quietly recite Moby Dick in the background while, you know, your user is doing off doing their things. So how is this a prank? Well, let's say your friend is a music junkie. You know, they're, they're listening to their beats. You know, beats headphones suck, but you know, they, they're listening to their beats and they're so excited about their Taylor Swift, Nicki Minaj, you know, whatever, alternativeness. And they're trying to listen, trying to listen, and they hear this whisper in the background. And then they look at all their little tabs and then they go to their little terminal tab, they open it, and Moby Dick is there, you know, chilling in the background while they're trying to listen to their music. I so pranked you. Okay, I think it's very, very cool. No one else is going to think it's cool, but I think it's cool. And so, how do we make our terminal recite Moby Dick? Well, we do curl dash s, and then we're going to do like a link. So it's going to be an HTTP colon slash slash www.gutenberg.org slash cache slash epub slash 2701 slash page 2701 dot text space bar say and you're going to hit enter and it's going to go and say its thing the project gutenberg ebook of moby dick or the whale by herman melville and of course you can always listen to moby dick on this if you really want to listen to that free e publications glory yes and so that's the end of this video. Today you learned how to reverse strings in the terminal, how to get a yes, never ending automated response from the terminal, and you didn't have to make it yes, you could make it anything you wanted. And then you also learned how to quietly recite Moby Dick in the background, or you could just make it blare from your person's computer, and so if they hit the unmute button, bam, Moby Dick. So I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next Thursday.